Hey, so baseball fans are kind of freaking out that one day computers could call balls and strikes. But guess what? It's already happening, and it's here at TD Bank Ballpark, home of the Somerset Patriots. I'm going to find out how the TrackMan system works, take some pitches, see how it all goes. It's just a radar right above my head. That's all there is. All right, this is my sign for doing baseball stuff. Baseball. That's scary. I wanna hurt someone. For the 2019 season, Major League Baseball is partnering with the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball to test TrackMan, a system that uses Doppler radar to analyze each pitch thrown. It measures the maximum velocity of a ball, movement, and location of where it crosses home plate. That information is wirelessly transmitted to a TrackMan tech on site, which is then communicated to the home plate umpire. At the Patriots game, the ump carried an iPhone with the TrackMan app installed. An earpiece in the ump's ear says ball or strike after each pitch. And umpires do have the power to overrule TrackMan in certain scenarios, like say if a ball hits the dirt first and bounces up into the strike zone. Now, the league wouldn't let us show the screen of the TrackMan software, but if you've ever watched the play-by-play -play updates of a game online in real time, you probably already have a good idea of what it looks like. Major League Baseball has already installed TrackMan at all 30 of its team's ballparks, but will observe how it works in the Atlantic League first before it's implemented into the majors. Brett Jody is a former Yankees pitcher and now the manager of the Patriots. He's been coaching the team while the league is experimenting with TrackMan. This is something that, it's a good premise, it's a good idea, but it, you know, we're on the, the nurturing stage of it right now, trying to tweak it and stuff like that, and trying to get it to where it'll overall be good for the game and, and become more consistent. That's what we're looking for. So far, we've seen some good games with it and stuff like that. We've learned about it, we've learned to adapt to it, and, and you know, our pitchers are learning how to throw to it, our hitters are learning how to adjust to the zone and stuff like that. Sure. Baseball's slow adoption of TrackMan is a bit like the reluctance to accept instant replay a few years ago, and now it's just a part of the game. This is Sparky Lyle, back-to-back -back World Series winner with the Yankees in 77 and 78, and a Cy Young winner. During his MLB career, he's seen just about everything, so I figured he was a good guy to talk to about TrackMan. Like I say, I think the TrackMan is, boy, they get that dialed in, it's going to be really, really great. Anything else? Let's just stay with uh, horsehide baseball. And I'm not saying anything bad about the umpires or anything, but you know, the umpires get kind of, they get tight in close games too, just like a player or anybody else does, and I think is definitely going to eliminate that. So what Sparky is talking about is the human element that impacts balls and strikes. Of course, the strike zone is a subjective area that varies umpire to umpire. Trackman adjusts its zone depending on the height of the batter and not by a batter's stance. If a six-foot batter crouches down to 5'9 in the batter's box, he's still going to get the MLB average strike zone of a six-foot batter. The implementation of TrackMan is primarily for consistency, but it also won't get fooled by a catcher moving his glove back into the strike zone after a catch is made, or, on the flip side, when a big movement pitch crosses the plate but winds up being caught outside the zone. So you were known for your slider, I I've been told, and I want to know if you had to pitch with TrackMan, would you be striking more people out? Would you be walking uh, a lot of people? What do you think would that would have changed well, the way you performed? I'd probably be walking a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my slider, I, I usually threw it uh, to a right-hander's back knee. By the time they swung at it, it wasn't a strike. Yeah. yeah I mean, it crossed the plate. Don't sure. get me wrong, but uh, I believe I, I, I'd probably be uh, walking a lot more guys. Okay. <laughs> it's really early in the stage to tell if it's hurting the hitters more, helping the hitters more, or or the same with the pitchers. So. I think it's going to be a case-by-case -case study. We're looking for it to get consistent. Everybody's going to learn it, adapt to it, and then we can kind of go from there. But right now, we're still in the learning stages of what exactly we need to do to make it work. With that consistency comes a major adjustment for everyone. Umpire Fred DeJesus was getting ready to ump his third TrackMan game when I caught up with him. You know, in the past, you just instinctually make your call. Right. Now it's slowing down. So what kind of a delay is that? It's a pop of the glove, and then you got ball to strike. Whereas, instead of the pop of the glove and popping up to call, make your call, right. now it's, okay, that's a ball. All right, ball. 
Any baseball fan probably has a mental image of managers screaming nose-to-nose with umpires over a call. It almost seems like a staple of the game. It's a weird thing in baseball, but Fred actually thinks that dynamic might change. The catcher-umpire manager relationship will change and hopefully for the better you know hopefully there's more engagement in and focus on other things you know there's definitely high hopes for what trackman can bring to baseball but it hasn't been without some growing pains after all mlb is using the atlantic league as a test bed for the technology the first half of the season it was pretty inconsistent in and out sometimes you you would you know the umpire was was working with the umpire in his his ear and then it wouldn't work so he'd have to call his own sometimes and stuff like that it's gotten a lot more consistent in the second half since we implemented it the speed of it's gotten a lot better the uh the speed at the beginning used to be i mean the catcher would throw the pitch back to the pitcher and they would almost call it then oh wow so the hitter's stepping out of the box the pitcher's getting the ball back and then looking around (laughs) whoa did they just call that so uh the speed of it has gotten a lot better just a, a fan coming out you wouldn't notice Now, you can get a good idea of how TrackMan works by hearing about it, but there's only one way to know what it's really like. So, I have a question or a favor, maybe. Uh, Would you want to pitch to me while I get a first-hand TrackMan experience? Let's do it. That sounds like fun. Yeah, that sounds like fun. If I can get this arm going again, we can do it. All right, well, if you need to, however long (laughs) you need to take. I'll get it loose. We'll do it, yeah. Maybe I'll swing and miss, and you'll make fun of me or something. No, I won't make fun of you, okay. but hope, you'll make me feel good if I can get somebody to swing and miss, because it's been a lot of years since I've done that. All right, but, I'm, I'm here for but you. But it's a deal. Let's, let's do right, it. cool, man. Thank you so All much. All right, sounds good. Man, what did I sign up for? What am I, what am I, you're good? Yeah? We got to wait for the ump, but I guess I'm just going to get a look at it. That's fast, and he's not even throwing that fast, dude. What is that, like 70 miles an hour? Like That was it? I want to swing after he's already caught the goddamn ball already. That was, I, was, I had the timing. Don't hurt yourself, Brett. You didn't think I was going to touch it. And right after I almost killed someone, Fred the umpire arrived to show me Trackman in action. Strike? Mm-hmm. Yes, ball. Ball! Brett, don't walk me! That's a strike. Right. Oh, that was fast. Oh. That was a little outside. Three full count here. Brett can bring the heat, man. Okay, so what happens is the ball crosses the plate and the computer, Whoa. I just walked, and the computer goes into your ear, right? And it just says ball or strike. What happened? So about here is where TrackMan kind of stops working. MLB told us we were using the system prematurely before the game, which they weren't so psyched about, at which point they paused it. I really wanted to try out umping and see how my calls lined up with TrackMan, but unfortunately that didn't work out but they did get it back online for use in the game. So will TrackMan ever find a home in the majors? So it's definitely gotten better. I think if they keep tweaking it, keep getting it better, it could be something that is gonna be useful and gonna be consistent. And I could see it potentially getting implemented into the big leagues, maybe, sure. yeah. but it's got, it's got some work to do. I think it's gonna be a really good thing. And I think they will take it to the big leagues, but it's still got a long way One to go. One day, right? One day. It's got a long way to go. And that's kind of the vibe about how everyone feels about TrackMan. The players, the coaches, the umpires, people think it is accurate and they think it's going to be a reality one day, but right now it's just not there technically and it seems like it's just something that needs to be finessed. And everyone's worried like, oh, it's going to take away umpires jobs, it's going to eliminate people from the game, but it's not. There needs to be people manning TrackMan, understanding how it works. It's mobile, so you need engineers, you need installers, you need people to interpret the technology. It's still gonna have that human element. But for the strike zone, that's just TrackMan's territory. So I guess all we can do is enjoy the baseball game, have a beer, have a hot dog, take in some good old fashioned Patriots baseball. Join me. (laughs) Just in the lower region, That, that hurt my back, but It's, you know, when you're an athlete, everything hurts. You just live with pain constantly. You just, 
you just ask any of these guys, it's constant pain 24-7, but you love the game so much that you just play it in pain. It's a great song, man. You're gonna get me all excited with Peter Gabriel right now. I've seen this move. 